Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is... Such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh... <clears throat> 
need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. That's a serious heat lamp. Max is so cool. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. It's nice, my parents. I wonder I wasn't very available to Chloe. <laughs> Real nice. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. 
I remember Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. There's the old Chloe. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Snow globes are taking over. Ah, here's the DVD. I can't believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? 
I'm on it, Chloe. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? No way. I don't want you to feel weird. My life is just so different than yours. I mean, we can't just bounce out of here and... I'll be doped up half the day in pain. So that's cool. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well, hot monkey sex would be nice. <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Not really. No. There are some cute boys there, but you know me. I'm too damn shy. Which is stupid, because you're so damn cool. Some bro has to be crushing on you. This guy Warren asked me out, but I turned him down. Now he's with somebody else. His loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> Shit. I sound like my dad. That's okay if you sound like William. He really cares about you. Rub it in. I can't ever get mad at the fool. He does so much for me. I haven't done Jack for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. At least, Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any- What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. <sighs> hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> It's so cool. 
Good, or I'd be a scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might... lose her someday. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Sorry, Max. Need to rest. Just shoot me now. Oh, man. The 
the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Chloe. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty, but you passed on before I changed this reality. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here too. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. They're drowning in debt, just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I guess we stopped growing up together. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a Total coincidence. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. have no idea what's in their future. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Joyce is already a super mom. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. 
after the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I... Lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. That sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too.
Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I 
I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William, I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think.
I'm sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever! And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always.
Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. I think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. That's my Chloe. close yet so far away we have to do three main things right um what things one decipher frank's logbook two get nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the vortex club parties with kate and rachel and see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages three beat step douche dan until he tells us about frank nathan and the dark room too bad i don't have a gun anymore yes that's the solution We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who? And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't.